Hello, hello. Elixir code tends to be really pipe friendly, but sometimes we have little breaks in our pipeline, those pesky little breaks. And so I want to show you two helpers that can help our pipelines keep flowing. Now we're going to look at these helpers uh, with DBG, but they work with anything. So let's take a look at this. We have a create function here in a Phoenix app. It doesn't matter what it's really doing. It's creating a user. Uh, and what we're going to do is suppose we wanted to inspect this, right? We can go ahead and put a DBG here, but this is going to inspect the entirety of that construct, right? It's going to print out a gigantic thing. Let's take a look at it really quick. I ran the test and we have a whole bunch of stuff. Well, what if we only wanted to get the flash info, right? Like what, what if we want to see what the assigns is for that? We can use a function called then it takes an anonymous function and this is going to pass as the first argument, the previous value. So this is a con and let's just close this really quick. And now what we need to do is we just need to make sure that then returns the con again, right? So we could be modifying the con here, doing something else. In this case, we're just going to uh, take a look at what's in the assigns and let's actually just look at the flash and let's rerun that test. And we can see down there that it's just now printing that con assigns flash, right? So this is really nice. We haven't broken apart that pipeline. You can imagine if you were trying to do something with just that flash, you might have to break apart that pipeline, assign con, return something else, all that stuff. But uh, as you can see, we're not actually using con. So if you're trying to just perform sort of a side effect, like we are in this case, you can actually use tap and that will automatically return the value that was passed into the function. So it'll actually return this con and this is a side effect. So I'll save this, rerun that, and we should get the exact same result. And there you go. You don't have to break your pipelines just for one or two things. I hope you like it.